Hey guys, just a quick video here that I wanted to make. I came across this custom made art print based on Wonder Woman 2017. And this depicts the uh, post battle after we had that incredible no man's land scene. They enter the town of Veld. She helps liberate that with the team, right? And that's what this print is based off of. Many different sizes, a uh, lot of different options. I was surprised, but I got two small ones. I might put it up, but I need to find a frame for it first. Let me get it open and check it out. It's pretty cool so far. I like it. So here we have two prints one is about an 8 by 10 the other one i believe a 11 by 17 i'll try to flatten it out uh, so you guys can take a look at it it's about a 12 by 16 and this is the larger size that i got i've just tried to flatten it out and prop it up for the video I don't have a frame yet, right, to display it, but. And this is the smaller size here. So it's basically like a front page news article, Illustrated London News. And you got the date here, April 13, 1918. And there's a little story here. It's just a one page story. This is the one that I might frame. So it says here, the whereabouts and name of the mysterious woman who aided allied forces in the liberation of the Belgium village of Veld is still unknown. The woman, dressed sparsely in a leather and metal brazier combination and wielding a sword and shield, made light work of the German defenses as she led the assault through no man's land. Great bravery was shown by the woman who seemed invulnerable to the bullets and mortar rounds landing nearby. Sources close to Allied High Command confirmed that a new type of poisonous gas was being prepared and that the attack and subsequent liberation may have cut short the Hun's plan to deploy the weapon effectively. Assisting in the attack on the German front were a motley crew of Allied troops. Witnesses say a Scottish sharpshooter known only as Charlie a Native American warrior called Napi, and a North African known as Samir aided the young lady along with her partner, an American spy named Steve Trevor. Although the village was very nearly obliterated during the onslaught, the remaining townsfolk were grateful of the liberation and provided a welcome reprieve for the Allied forces who were able to take advantage of the lull in fighting for some well-earned respite. Our heartfelt thanks go out to these brave souls for the service they have done for king and country and for the sacrifices made to secure victory through the abhorrent adversity. It's pretty decent quality paper. But I definitely like to frame this and put it uh, above the 1918 Belgium photo. Yeah, basically, I was looking at something like this, where I would put this above the Belgium photo. Once I get a proper frame. So I got small sizes because I don't have a lot of wall space, so. Definitely a cool addition to my collection. I love artwork, art prints, posters, things like that. I'm glad I got this. It's a cool piece of the movie and collectible that I think is very unique.
Go check out JND Studios. They just released a preview video for the production of that one-third scale Golden Eagle Armor statue from Wonder Woman 84. I have it up on my Instagram. And you guys will see that when I get that statue. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again. Take care.